What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you're gonna say, look, there is another video, Martin talking in the car and whatever, but today is going to be different. Super excited. I'm going to make my first collaboration video for YouTube. Actually, the, my first three because we were making uh, two videos for my channel and one for uh, the other channel. And the person I'm making these videos with is Jonas. He was born and raised here in Erlangen, but currently lives in Frankfurt. His passion is movie making. He just finished his uh, German Abitur. I'm not sure how to translate this into English and what's the equivalent because the German school system is a bit uh, hard to comprehend. You you see more of him. Uh, I'll also link his channel, so make sure to check it out, check him out. If you speak uh, German, it's it's perfect uh, as well as for people who are just learning German you can practice his uh, videos are quite interesting and uh, I would say that even beginners could understand uh, what he's talking about you'll hear more about him from uh, himself personally because I see him coming down the street right now Okay, so we're here with Jonas. Hi guys. You can introduce yourself a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I'm 18. I met Martin at the uh, No Small Creator Group and we decided to do a co collaboration day. I already introduced you as a passionate um, young movie maker. Can you tell more about your videos and your channel? Um, so I'm, I'm basically just doing what um, what I like or what I find interesting at the moment. So it's it's a lot of camera stuff. I did some cheap camera challenge in in the past and um, some blogging if I'm if I'm traveling. And today's topic will be comparison between life of a German and a Bulgarian at your age. All right. To see what are the benefits, minuses in both countries, and basically the opportunities. What are the opportunities for development? And after that, we'll be making a photo challenge, but that would be in a separate video. So make, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon to get the notifications. Ah. Okay, Jonas, maybe since you're local, you can yeah. share some info where the hell we are right now. So we're in the in the park. It's called Schlossgarten. It's like it's like let's let's pretty just show the people. <laughs> it's like a pretty big park. Um, the Botanischer Garten is nearby, and uh, I I can remember many days spending time with, with my family here, and it's it's just a nice place to hang out here. Now.
right. So I guess we can start. Uh, yeah. In general, we're gonna start with first an explanation from your side, like your age and what's it like to to beat your age. Like, what do you have to overcome? Like, with, uh, education and future planning, work, all right, like that. So uh, my name is Jonas. I'm currently 18 years old. I finished my my Abitur like three, four months ago. So that's like the the big high school diploma you you it's it's basically one of the highest education you can do in, in basic school in Germany. And the the well the problems I'm facing I'm now 18 years old so I'm I'm considered as an adult and um, there's like bank stuff and there's like you have to you have to kind of find a job you can't like slack around anymore. Um, most people either get an apprenticeship so which is an Ausbildung in Germany. I, I don't really know the correct translation to that. I think it's apprenticeship. Apprenticeship training. Yeah. And it's more, I think it's, there is no literal translation, yeah. but uh, it's like a more hands-on yeah. learning approach. Some people uh, get an apprenticeship, like a German Ausbildung. Um, some people go to university and many people do this um, like, like a year of basically finding themselves like traveling or or getting a basic job and that's that's what I did I have a half-time job now and um, basically now try to figure out this whole adult thing and uh, at the same time create as much as I can because that's that's my passion and that's what I want to pursue I want to do uh, the Mediengestalter Bild und Ton which is basically learning um, or doing an apprenticeship how to how to Use the camera properly for big shoots or big projects and editing. And, and so basically, like an apprenticeship for being an operator. Yes. Okay. And um, how would you rate like the opportunities of following this passion here in in Germany? I, I think they're high. Like I I can pursue my passion now, and there are many many um, companies who offer this uh, apprenticeship, so that that I can do and. I could also study uh, film, but I, I've had to, I would have to have like a year of an internship at most universities to start studying film. So I want to do the apprenticeship first, have a real thing I can I can show to companies and then do the university thing. So you have to build like your portfolio on your own first, you know, yeah. to be accepted. And uh, during these studies, uh, can you work and uh, do you have to work and what's like the illegal amount you can do work so you can like I don't know have money to just live? Yeah, so I think if, if I do the, the nine to five job, I would have enough money to, to live. Um, but I, I luckily I my, my parents um, are okay with me living with them right now and. Um, it's it's doable. Let, let's say it like that. It's doable. Right? But like um, politics were like this, like uh, a few years ago, and now you had nine years of of um, high school basically, um, and they changed it to eight years. And I've been in this uh, few generations or a few um, kids who only had eight years, so they finished um, at 17 or 18. And now they changed it back to nine years. So I basically have one year less of an education. So I, so um, my my parents and the, the following generations, my little sister is now going to to go to school. And this year, what I'm currently doing. <clears throat> I also heard that there is like a limit while you're studying for. I, I don't know. Is this applicable to your situation? Because you said that you're going to do it as an Ausbildung. Yeah, and this is basically considered as like a, some sort of a job as well. You get paid for doing yeah. this, right? And uh, regarding universities, is, is it correct that uh, the thing I heard that uh, you can only do mini jobs while studying at this university? I honestly don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I, I really don't know. <laughs> we can cut this out. <laughs> I uh, no. Why? Why? Why cut it out? It's it's like I can't imagine it. I, but I, I would say that I wouldn't want to do it. Like, I think a mini job is a reasonable thing to do. 
when you when you think about the amount of work you're going to have in university. Yeah. yeah. But uh, for example, let's um, start the comparison already, actually, because until now we've got only information from what's like in German perspective. Uh, back home in Bulgaria, um, if you want to follow your path with uh, filming and stuff like that, either you have to do it on your own, study on your own, try to build a nice portfolio and then just apply to companies, or you can go into the only university for arts we have, actually, that teaches stuff like that. But uh, to be honest, um, the methods they're teaching are, are kind of old. Not enjoying the, the people that are uh, coming out of or that university, the things they are due, compared to the people that are self-taught and try to experiment and uh, put new stuff mm -hmm. to work. So you have to put in the work for yourself. Uh, and uh, the other thing is, Almost like 99% of the people that are doing some studies after uh, after high school, whether it's university or the, some other courses or whatever, they, they need to work full time, mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy. Uh, but um, for example, when I was in university, I was still living with my parents and I still had to work full time in order to uh, provide enough money for, uh, for us because they couldn't take care of all the financial so needs. So is, is it like the... Um because universities in, in Germany are pretty, like, it's it's pretty easy to, to pay for everything because they're either really cheap if you're not going to the best and, and foremost uh, pri private university, and you uh, so education is is basically free and you can you you get um, help from from the government also. So is is it like you, you have to? It's similar. You do get some uh, help from the government, uh, but it doesn't cover like the full tuition. Mm. So you have to pay every semester a, a, a different amount, which is ranging from 150 euros to like uh, 600 euros. Yeah, okay, I think that's that's basically the same here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's it's not like in 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 America. Yeah, you... but we need to mention that the minimum salary in Bulgaria is 150 euros compared to the 800 uh, euros in Germany. So those tuitions are uh, quite big, mm. uh, even the 150 euro one. Uh, uh, for example, my first job ever was uh, considered like a mini job because I was working uh, 20 hours per week and it was for the minimum wage. So basically at that time it just covered my traveling expenses back and forth to, uh, to the university. Because my job was right next to the university, I could, I just went uh, to work and then directly to university. So, so mini job is considered 20 hours, and you get 150 euros a month. Yeah, I think right now it's a bit higher, but it's like 170 yeah, maximum, that's... 180. But that, that's like really low. And um, I, I can say, I can say from my perspective, I had a mini job uh, beforehand. I, I now work half time, mm -hmm. and I do the 20 hours a week, and. Um, like a mini job is considered uh, like 10 hours a week, mm -hmm. and you get if, if you if you cover the whole 10 hours, you get like 450 euros. Okay. So that that's like the 450 euro job. It's, it's yeah. Called, and that's like um, the smallest amount you can get without paying any taxes. Yeah, and I think that's a decent amount for a for a uh, like a student or something like that. Yeah. Like some extra cash to carry around. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess here in, uh, in Germany it's better structured if uh, people want to follow their passion and to learn new things. Uh, you, you don't have all that stress to think about whether I have enough money to pay my semester, uh, like in Eastern U uh, Europe, and uh, just running around back and forth between work and university. Also, after that first job I worked, I went full-time, so that meant a 9-to-5 job, mm. uh, which turned to, from 9 to seven or eight because I had to use my lunch breaks to go to university and do some mandatory uh, laboratory exercises or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a pain. Uh, I would say there is one bonus to all this entire thing is uh, because you're working during your studies, you can find uh, work related to what you're currently studying. So basically, uh, after the four years of your bachelor, you, mm. you get out with also four years of work experience in your field. Yeah, that's that's like the duales studium in German. You can do that. It's it's like it's like the apprenticeship 
the, the amount of, of people want to get an apprenticeship and the amount of people want to get like the dual um, dual university thingy to have like work experience is um, is raising. So there there are less people who want to um, there are less people who want to to go to normal university because they they feel like they they don't have enough work experience afterwards. Yeah, I've noticed this in my field uh, that uh, a lot of the uh, software developers and uh, engineers they're like my age and they just finished uh, university yeah. their masters and they're just starting work and uh, for example I already have like seven and a half years working experience and uh, this is still kind of weird and one thing that I, makes me think that I'm a bit too young for Germany to be honest <laughs> because uh, for example I'm uh, targeting now manager positions okay and uh, a lot of people find it difficult to uh, take me serious uh, because yeah. of my age so I, I can I can um, I can tell from my father's um, side of him he's like a manager at a pretty big company and he also says that many people come uh, out of university at a relatively young age and nobody's taking them serious. And even with all that work experience you have, you have the same problem because no 60, 65 year old manager is going to take a 25 year old yeah. serious. Even if they have like uh, the, the, the best education or the best experience. Also cannot. one thing, uh, I think you get certificates here in Germany for basically everything. Like uh, uh, this Zeugnis. Mm -hmm. Like from work, uh, from uh, courses, uh, uh, yeah. everything that you do, you, you basically have it on paper. And uh, in Bulgaria, it's not like that. It's like um, we do have some uh, formality, but it's uh, strictly ap applicable to Bulgaria. So this is another downside when you come to Germany, and uh, it's hard to mm. uh, legalize all of your work experience and all of your studies and everything. When I, when I did my mandatory internship. Like basically everywhere you work, even if you work like three weeks, there was my mandatory internship in in school. I got like um, a zeugnis afterward, which which stated what what uh, what did I did while my internship and how did I did it and how was where my social skills. And it's it's really helpful if you apply to a job afterwards to say like, even if I'm 18 years old, I have like all this um, this um, these zeugnis that I can I can show to people. Yeah, that, that's really good, uh, to be honest, and you basically get out of high school with a profession, right? Yeah. Uh, in, in Bulgaria it's not like that, uh, unless you're uh, from this uh, uh, technical school, mm -hmm. which uh, you develop yourself I guess a professional. But it's not like, uh, like um, many people come out of school and say like, I, I know what I want to do. Yeah. Like straight, straight I mean, away know I what I want to do. I think that's in common in every country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. But my point here was that uh, most of our high schools are like, uh, general high schools and you have like um, some specialities like uh, for my high school I was studying mathematics and English uh, but I don't have a profession after that but the goal from that high school no. is to continue into university and um, uh, recently uh, there was this situation with uh, with my wife she's uh, taking this cor German courses here integration mm. courses and uh, they asked her what's her profession she did uh, study in high school the same thing as I did and uh, she doesn't have a profession yet. Uh, they uh, labeled her when they asked her what she was studying, and she said mathematics and English. And they said, "Oh, you're a mathematics teacher." No, th this, is, uh, this is totally different in Bulgaria. Mm. You cannot go and teach uh, after high school, for mm. example. Like, uh, it's you. Yeah. You have like special spe specialities here. My my uh, my high school, my gymnasium was a music special spe had music specialty. And that pretty much doesn't mean anything because we had um, we had problems getting an adv advanced course in music. Okay. Like there were six out of 150 people who wanted to do the advanced course in mm. music. And you, you you have your general education, but you have to to choose your profession and pursue it. Uh, so to wrap things up, uh, plus sides of Germany. Uh, you're free to follow your passion. Yeah. There are a lot of opportunities which are backed up uh, by uh, certificates and all, all the paperwork. Also, you're most of the time not required to work that much in order to sustain a decent life uh, while studying. But the minus here is most of the time you lack professional experience after you uh, finish your studies and yeah. you need to start 
from scratch you know, working. In or you, or you yeah. have to start while you're while you're at high school or while you're studying to to right. I, I know people who who use their free time or their their holidays to get experience at an internship. Yeah, that, uh, but that's like during only the breaks, not yeah. the, while actually learning. And uh, like the three week, we we had a three week mandatory internship in, in the whole twelve years of school. I did. And in Bulgaria, you get a lot of experience working. To be honest, uh, personally, I learned a lot more while working than uh, studying. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, the cool thing there is that you actually see. Uh, how things are right now uh, compared to the theoretical part which is uh, the base and uh, pretty much old stuff and how it developed yeah. and it's implemented uh, but it is a lot of stress and long hours every week and every day uh, up to 14 hours combined working and uh, studying also it's quite expensive um, yeah. so yeah, if you definitely want to follow your passion, uh, Germany is the place. Yeah, Germany is good. Yeah, definitely. I like it. <laughs> it's like there, there is stuff you uh, uh, politicians want to change. Like there's like the NC. I don't know. You you have to to get a um, um, a, a specific grade in um, or a grade minimum, which is like 1.0. It's like you, you basically have to get an A in, in everything. Mm -hmm. And only if you get this 1.0, you're allowed to study um, medicine or medical okay. or be a doctor, um, uh, like a real uh, practicing doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's like uh, there, there's, a, there, there's a young person who's pretty much awesome in, in, in um, learning facts and repeating them to the but has no experience at all and he's favored over the one who has experience and like a 1.2 a grade mm. which is basically you also have to get an A in everything but sometimes you get it got an A minus yeah I would say in Bulgaria it's not like that they're not that strict when uh, you apply okay. to universities uh, because small, uh, a lot of people like uh, leave Bulgaria to go to other countries like Germany to pursue their dream and get uh, more recognized uh, uh, education from paper perspective mainly. Uh, but uh, still for the ones that are left uh, uh, in Bulgaria it's uh, quite uh, tough to go through university. I have friends that dropped out like a couple of times because they couldn't manage working and studying at the same time. Uh, yeah, so I think we can wrap this video up now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah fun discussion. Fo follow your passion in Germany. <laughs> follow your passion in Germany. Thanks Start for work. watching. Yeah, yeah, for work. Yeah, definitely work. So that's it about the live comparison between Germany and Bulgaria. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, you know, the procedure, ring the, the bell icon and everything. Uh, also make sure to check Jonas's channel, links in the description and stay tuned for the photo challenge video that we'll be making soon. <laughs>